Hello, everyone. My name is Noriaki Nakayamura of New Flare Technology. Today, in this video, I'm talking about writing curvilinear masks with MVM 2000. Here is the outline. In this final video, you will learn what is pixel level dose correction, PLDC, and what is multi beam format 2.0, MVF 2.0 and how both will work to improve the efficiency of curvilinear mask production. So let me start from what is curvilinear mask writing and what is multi-beam. Historically, the LSI design was very simple, uh, like shown here uh, as two squares. And the VSB writer is very good at writing these simple features by just writing two shots. But that's not the case anymore. After the introduction of inverse lithography technology, IRT, the pattern got very complicated to have this kind of curvilinear shape. And to write this curvilinear shape by VSB writer, it has to be divided into many, many small, tiny rectangles. And writing such so many rectangles using single beam takes very long time and right time became a big problem. But that problem does not exist anymore after the introduction of multi-beam system. In case of multi-beam, the same curvilinear pattern is converted to the group of pixels, I mean the bitmap. And bitmap has a constant number of pixels, so the right time does not scale, no matter whether the input pattern is complicated. And uh, what is uh, more beneficial with multi-beam is that it has uh, literally a massive number of beams, typically 262,000 beams. So the right time can be suppressed within a pra practical limit. And so uh, what is so special about MVF 2000? Uh, to explain it, here I articulated the data flow of, from user design to the writer. The user LSI design is uh, converted by IPC, OPC IRT tools and uh, mask process correction MPC and the fracturing uh, to convert it to the writer's data format. And writer's data uh, is uh, taken as an input to the multi-beam writer. And uh, it is converted by rasterization to the bitmap and the bitmap data is sent to the, the writer's hardware. Here, uh, we have introduced a new uh, data path called PLDC, Pixel Level Dose Correction. It does uh, not only the rasterization, but to the inline uh, MB model based MPC, task process correction. And uh, by doing this uh, inside the multi beam, uh, it can take off the heavy burden on the offline MPC side and let the offline MPC focus on more simple rule-based MPC. So the total turnaround time will be greatly suppressed. Here are the benefits of PLDC. It imp improves patterning resolution by dose enhancement, uh, and it uh, allows more dose margin and process margin. It also applies model-based mass process correction to provide better CD linearity and it corrects edge placement error and CD error to provide higher pattern fidelity. And what is best about PLDC is that it can do all of the above in the background of writing. So no increase in the turnaround time. First, I start from better patterning resolution by PLDC. Uh, this is the basic concept of uh, PLDC, it uh, increases the dose near the edge of the pattern and give a higher, steeper uh, dose slope at the target CD. And uh, resolution was evaluated uh, as its inverse, uh, like dose latitude uh, CD versus dose sensitivity in the unit of nanometer per percent dose. Without PLDC, it is 0.48 nanometer per percent dose for, for 25 percent density pattern, but it can be reduced to 0 0.36. So 25 reduction in the dose uh, sensitivity is achieved by PLDC. And the, the other part of PLDC functionality is uh, inline mask process correction. Here we evaluated through pitch pattern, G 
changing the pattern density from 1% to 99% and changing the design CD from 60 nanometer to one micron. Without PLDC, CD peak to valley, CD linearity peak to valley has a very large error, but by running PLDC, we can remove the pattern density dependent portion of the error uh, to have the same curve uh, for, for any pattern density. Uh, there's still a residual of C linearity error, but this can be removed by simple rule-based uh, MPC, depending on the design CD. So let's look at how those uh, key features uh, work in favor for curve linear pattern uh, writing. The left side is the design I shown in the uh, introduction slide. This was shown in the eBeam initiative panel uh, in Bacchus 2017. And this is uh, no PLDC uh, writing results, and this is with PLDC writing result. You can visually see uh, that the corner roundings are sharper with the uh, PLDC, but you may wonder, uh, okay, pattern fidelity may be improved by visual, uh, but how much uh, is it improved? So we have prepared uh, the C pattern the simple C pattern and evaluated the H placement error. Uh, this is a, a result uh, of the CD of 30 nanometer and the gap of 30 nanometer. And uh, apparently PLDC has a better uh, patterning resolution compared to no PLDC. We changed the design uh, with the C pattern from 80 nanometer to 30 nanometer. And with 30 nanometer, the H placement error is over 10 nanometer. Uh, without PLDC, but it can be suppressed at all around three to four nanometer in three sigma, which is equivalent to line edge roughness. But you may wonder, again, uh, isn't it just observing that those two target different? So uh, we have tested another pattern uh, called uh, sine curve pattern. This green, uh, sorry, blue uh, line is showing the uh, input uh, sine curve and uh, overlaid with a, a CD same picture. Uh, this is a chrome unexposed side, and this is quotes, exposed glass side. And uh, we uh, take the uh, counter uh, extraction and calculate its uh, area of the uh, sign curve, and it compared it with the uh, uh, input sign curve and uh, calculated the area transfer loss. Uh, and this is the result. Uh, we changed the dose uh, from minus 10% to plus 10%. But you can see that uh, PLDC, the orange bar, is showing consistently smaller uh, area transfer loss compared to no PLDC. Uh, uh, so are you uh, convinced that uh, PLDC is better than no PLDC? Uh, I think you uh, still wonder uh, is write time longer than uh, no LPDC, no PLDC? Uh, customer may concern with a dose enhancement uh, directly slows down the writing speed of multi beam writer because single max dose pixel limits the entire stage speed. So, is PLDC write time longer than no PLDC? Uh, the answer is yes and no. If there is no SRF pattern with elevated dose, then yes, PLDC write time will become longer than no PLDC. However, if the design already includes SRF patterns with elevated dose, then the answer is no. PLDC dose enhancement parameter can be configured carefully not to exceed the elevated dose of SRF patterns. More details can be shared with MBM 2000 customers. So let's move on to the next key feature, MVF 2.0. We introduced MVF 2.0 or, or to accept the uh, B-spline expression of a uh, curvy shape boundary. To explain the detail of uh, MVF 2.0, let me start from the traditional USB 12.12 by a uh, data format. Uh, it accepts only the trapezoids with uh, 90 degree and 45 degree only. 
And for uh, MVM1000, we prepared MVF1.0 by removing the restrictions for the angle to accept any angle trapezoid. But the curved linear pattern uh, still has many, many slivers. And the data volume uh, is even long, uh, larger than the VSV 12, uh, 12 by uh, baseline uh, because of the uh, more freedom in the angle. So the fixing uh, angle to 90 degree and 40 degree uh, worked in favor for data compression in case of VSV. So therefore, uh, we introduced polygon data format to MVF 1.1. And uh, the data uh, size was uh, successfully reduced to 15 to 20% of the MVF 1.0 baseline. But you can still see the cutting line along the holes. And uh, uh, this one, you cannot see uh, this, but uh, there are many, many uh, vertices along the curvy linear uh, boundary. Uh, so we introduced Hole and B spline curve uh, in the MVF 2.0 format. And data volume uh, has been successfully reduced to 5 to 10% from the MVF 1.0 baseline. Here, let's look at how B spline reduces the data volume in more details. This is the magnified view uh, in the one corner of the same ILT pattern. You can uh, see uh, these green dots. These green dots are the uh, B spline control points. And this uh, blue shaded patterns uh, are the actual uh, curvy linear shape target. Uh, you can see uh, for this uh, pattern, uh, there needs only five control points are needed to express the whole circular pattern. And the point is uh, when approximating piecewise polygon boundary by B spline curve, uh, edge placement error tolerance is the key factor to optimize the balance between the data compaction ratio and the area transfer loss. This is preliminary analysis uh, we performed with the uh, Azelta nanographics, uh, showing the relationship with uh, EP tolerance versus data compaction ratio and area transfer loss. Or, or EPE tolerance of 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 nanometer, you don't gain any data file compaction. The compaction stays at one, but by relaxing the EP tolerance to 0 0.5 to one and two, you can gain the uh, data uh, compaction uh, up to three X, but uh, it's sacrificing the area transfer loss reaching to almost 0.5%. So we think uh, the best combination uh, for today is EP tolerance one nanometer uh, to achieve 2.5x data compaction uh, by keeping the area transfer loss less than 0.1 percent. So here are the uh, list of uh, takeaways. Uh, New Fields MVN 2000 has two peculiar features to mask curvy linear mask writing uh, better and uh, easier. Uh, one is inline model based mask process correction by pixel level dose correction, PLDC. And the other is new data format to MVF 2.0, supporting B spline expression of the curvy shape boundary. Its capability has been proven quantitatively using NFT's process 25% better resolution and 5% less area transfer loss. Edge placement data at the same level as line edge roughness, three to four nanometer in three sigma. These values are with NFT's process, and you can even uh, expect better accuracy with the customer's process. And two to three X reduction in input file size with less than 0.5% area transfer loss. Finally, our multi beam can support customers to provide a uh, to produce more curvy linear masks in a shorter turn runtime with higher accuracy. Thank you for watching.